What is up, my people? Hello, motherfucker. Today we're back with Mastodon, a band that I dearly love. And yeah, with the Emperor of Sand, because I bought this album a few weeks ago with Once More, Run the Sun. And uh, yeah, I was, I'm, I was dying of listening to it. So I'm here now today and uh, we're gonna react to it. Yeah, I loved Once More, Round the Sun, but... But yeah, you know, for the next albums, I'm not going into them expecting a new Leviathan or a new Remission because, well, I already know, you know, the heavy side of Macedon is done, with, which is sad in a way because I really enjoyed it, but, but well, you know, they, uh, I really enjoyed it Once More, Round the Sun, so they're like more melodic and uh, epic uh, albums. Well, Once More, Round the Sun and Crack the Sky, well, it doesn't really bother me because it isn't bad, well, and there's no bad Mastodon album, but but it's different. It is definitely different, but that's why I'm I'm um, I'm gonna come with this album. I'm gonna listen to this album with you know a new perspective, like like with one more round the sun. You know, I'm not expecting heavy stuff. I'm expecting epic stuff, kind of like once more round the stuff, the sun stuff. As usual, man, the cover art is fucking nice. Wait, the, the light is fucking up. The cover art is is pretty nice, man. We're gonna open the box. Ooh. <laughs> It is trippy as well. I love the cover art, man. Are, it is always nice. There's not once. Maybe the hunter is a little bit less less cool, but look at that, man. Looks fucking pretty, man. Looks dope. And yeah, I think this one is. Uh, it has 11 songs. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, it has 11 songs. So let's go, man. Let's go. Let's look at the lore for this album. All right. It was, it was released in 2017, and the concept and story in uh, Emperor of Sands follows a desert wanderer who has been handed a death sentence. Themes of death and survival have woven into the song's lyrics, okay, which were inspired by experiences members of the band had when family and friends were recently diagnosed with cancer. Ooh, it's gonna be heavy. At the end of the story, the person simultaneously dies and is saved, uh, Dalo said. It's about going through cancer, going through chemotherapy, and all the things associated with that. I didn't want to be literal about it, but it's all in there. You can read between the lines. I, I feel like a lot of... Uh, of albums and and songs from Mastodon relate to death, you know, are, are related to death, which is well, you know, I, I enjoy it because everybody can find meaning behind it, you know, personal meaning behind it. Like for instance, once more around the sun, uh, I read the lyrics for for instance, thread lightly, the first songs I loved it, man, and when I read the lyrics, they're super uplifting in a way, you know. Open your eyes, take a deep breath and return to life. No, I love the, the mother load as well, man. This time, things gonna work out fine. No, I really, I really like it when they do that. We're reflecting on mortality, bassist and vocalist Troy Sanders said in a statement. To that end, the album ties into our entire discography. It's 17, oh, 17 years in the making, but it's also a direct uh, reaction to the last two years. We tend to draw uh, inspiration from real things in our life. Okay, I don't know, again, you know, again, I don't know if I should read the lyrics while reacting to it, but I, I enjoy to, I like to, uh, to take the music in first. I, I, say, I say it all the time, but especially with Mastodon, I like to, to first listen to the music, listen to the sounds before delving into the lyrics. So that's what I'm gonna do today. And I think I'm gonna do a new format every um, every uh, Friday. I'm gonna do an album reaction from one of your suggestions. And I think I'm gonna put it down below in the comments, uh, like a comment with an album and the one who gets the most likes, I'm gonna react to it because it is difficult to, uh, you know, I, I cannot make polls or make a post and people like decide, you know, uh, like vote. And people vote for their favorite album for me to react to, but I think I'm going to do it that way. Every Friday, album reaction. If you're unsubscribed still, please do. And um, I have my neck ready. <laughs> I have my beer ready this time. Yeah, I'm going to drink beer for this one. Grab your beers, prepare your neck, and here we go with Sultan's Curse. Here we go. Uh, just the sound, just the sound a little bit. Let's go. Cheers. What the hell? It wasn't supposed to be heavy, my friend. <laughs> oh, all the back. Oh, shit. Friend 
The song was nice. It wasn't like, wow, man, banding, man, blowing. It was cool. And and man, are they coming back to some heavier stuff? Are they coming back to some heavier stuff with this one? I feel like man, the the production was pretty like dirty. I when it was very sludgy. The production you heard the guitars were very saturated, and I liked it, man. It, it kind of taking it back to the first albums. I feel like with this one. Well, that was just the first song. Let's see about the rest. All right, next one is Show Yourself. Here we go. Show yourself. Show yeah, yourself. Him.
saving your song, man. You are saving your song. Well, you always save the song with fucking song playing. Well, not saving, but you mean. You know what I mean. Because this song is not my favorite right now. God damn it. Woo! Man, I'm not a fan of this one, man. I'm gonna be honest. I, I, I didn't really like it. I didn't like also the um, the way he, he sang. I, I don't know who sang there. I think it was uh, Brent Taylor, right? I think he was the one who was singing. But but yeah, like it was a little bit goofy. In the way I, I I'm not a fan of that kind of of song, like na 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 na. But yeah, not a fan of this one. Let's see about the rest, man. Let's see about Precious Stones. It, 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 this one felt a little bit uns, uninspired, maybe, you know, but... Well, let's see about the next one, Pre Precious Stones. Here we go! <laughs>
Okay. All right, precious stones. Oh, shut the fuck up, ad. So yeah, man, um, there was two parts in that song. At first I was like, oh no, again, another one. Another one, another one. But no, it, it was, uh, yeah, the ending like got me into it, you know, it, it was super nice what they did They It kind of reminded me of um, a Blood Mountain, kind of, you know. But yeah, that's what I want to hear, man. Like the rest felt uninspired. Well, show yourself because Sultan, Sultan's Curse was, was nice, you know, but yeah, show yourself in the beginning of Precious Stones felt uninspired. Like, it, it didn't feel like magical and, and super creative because these guys are super creative. Every album is super creative. But in these ones, yeah, I don't know. Let's see about the next one, man. Steam Breather. Here we go. Ooh. It's you go super sludge on this one, man. Let's go. Oh, okay. Oh, oh man, that beat is nice. That beat is disgusting, dude. Like. Whoop. That's the kind of master 
I normally like when they do this kind of harmony to the voice. Here, it doesn't work. It's not as effective as in uh, once more around the sun. But I like the last note. Now. Okay. The ending got my Robert De Niro face activated. Hmm. You talking to me? No, that, that song was nice, man. Really my, my favorite right now from the album, man. That riff at the beginning, poo, and like, okay, that was that was nice. But that's something, I in Once More Around the Sun, as I said, they they were quite good. I love harmonics, you know, when they they, they go and they sing with the, like, I don't know how you call that, you call that harmonics, I don't know. But you know, they, they sing and he goes, ah, uh -huh, and you know, and he goes like that. In Once More Around the Sun, it sounded super cool, like with Thread Lightly, Mother Load, uh, High Road, for instance, uh, uh, Amber City, etc. But this one, I don't know, I don't think, it is as good as this one from around the sun, but but yeah, this one for 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 sure one of the I I I guess it's one of the most famous songs from yeah two million views on YouTube so yeah I guess it's one of the most famous songs from from this album and it is great and it's definitely more uh, violent than than uh, once more around the sun I don't know uh, I guess it was their intentions but goddamn it 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 is more violent and it is definitely different it was like, every album feels different from them but this one feels definitely different from the others. And I'm not gonna lie, man, not... We'll see, we're only four songs in, man, there's still a lot of songs, but... If the whole album has this kind of sound... Well... It won't be my favorite one from them, my least favorite, I would say, even. But let's see about the next one, Roots Remain. Alright, Roots Remain, here we go! Sorry, not sorry, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Okay, this one feels epic. It's gonna be epic.
Okay. This album has a different vibe from one small one. It's not very creepy, you know? Like this? No, not creepy actually. Wait. Oh no, no, actually it's nice. So oh, actually it's nice, I love that. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh, I'm very good boss, man. Okay. Yeah, what, that, what I mean by creepy is that. I have to say bravo to this one, man. No, for real. It's very sad. Mmm, I love it, man. Oh, yeah, and the ending, man. The ending sounds like, you know, the... Um, how do you call that? The apparatuses when you are at the hospital, like... Dit, dit. Well, I know it talks about cancer, so I guess it's, it's there for a purpose. Man, I, I nearly like... Yeah, I got sad on this one. I won't say teared up, but when he said... Na, 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 memories. I want to look at the lyrics now. Let's see what they're talking about. Roots remain. Let's go master on the lyrics. Ooh, man. That, that, that's, that's strong lyrics, man. De Beauty fades. Death decay. Fires on a high. Reach the sky. Branches break, roots remain. Man, that's super powerful. Fires on high, reach the sky. Wow, okay, man. And when you sit and picture me, remember sitting in the sun and dancing in the rain. The end is not the end, you see. It's just recognition of a memory. <sighs> man, love this lyric. So who, who wrote this? I, I, I think it's Brent Taylor. I think Brent Taylor is singing in every song right now, right? Or it's not Brent Taylor. Maybe it's... Troy Sanders. Let, let's look it up, man. Oh, okay, so uh, it, both of them are singing. It's Brain Taylor and Troy Sanders who are singing in, the, in this. Beautiful song, man, and, and filled with um, filled with sadness. And yeah, I loved it. Keep going, Mastodon. All right, words to the wise. Here we go.
Are you gonna break me with a breakdown master? No. Not in this album, I guess. Ooh, man. Ooh. Oh, yeah. So epic, man. Again, that's this song for instance is uh, the chorus was crazy that's kind of what I'm meaning you know with songs like thread lively mother Lord, this one or uh, roots remain that's the kind of choruses that I love and and yeah like the verses and everything didn't, okay the, the solo is always nuts I, I there's no one single solo from Brent Hines that I didn't like but yeah it just didn't feel like the verses didn't feel very as I said like it felt uninspired but still, like these choruses, these kind of choruses are nuts, man. I love them. Epic and sad. Oh, god damn it. So the next song is Ancient Kingdom. Here we go. God damn it. Woo. Oh, okay. The groove is there always, man. The guitar behind you, That's when I sing it. I recognize the voice, bro.
great sale that you can know but the drum is a great sale that you know the I'm paying attention to the drum though. Drop. Break down. No. Oh, the guitar there has to put it. Da -da -da -da. Maybe they put a lot of bells in the song. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, man. Yeah. It's Man, something weird with this album. There's something very weird with this album because it is half and half, you know? Uh, it, they have some moments of genius, like the ending of this song is genius to me. And in all the songs, the same thing, Word to the Wise, it was like, the choruses were genius to me. But it's not like a whole fucking song, which is great. It's some parts and, well, still, man, like, Mastodon is super creative and uh, I'm a fan, man. You know, I'm a fan. It's coming from a fan. I'm super happy I still have some songs to discover, some albums to discover because they have, I know, well, a lot of people say The Hunter or Hushed and Grimm. They're not as great as the other ones and I, and I get why. I, I'm also a huge fan of the uh, earlier Mastodon, the heavier Mastodon, but but man, you cannot take away the, the musicianship and, and, and the greatness from these little parts. Like, for instance, the ending of Ancient Kingdom. It is fucking nuts, man. I, I, I love it. And yeah, I feel like they put a lot of... Um, bells like church bells in in this album well they talk about death they talk about death in a lot of their albums but in this one it's more i, I feel like it's it's seeing death as not as like a negative thing but more as like an ex you know, like, i feel like they're accepting death of their relatives in this one and more like seeing the beauty of life this i don't know what the lyrics are and i'll probably check them out after this reaction but but man i they're super uh, no i'm gonna check it out now actually what was he saying at the end man that's beautiful that's that's actually when I read the, the, the lyrics at the end, what he's saying is uh, ancient kingdom still remains, crumble slowly, right beyond mortality, living beauty now. Yeah, it is beautiful, man. Sparks explode into the air, live forever, ageless sounds, they never die, and I will remain. It is something every human being wants, you know, they want to live forever. And it's a beautiful way of putting it, you know, like a lot of people with nihilism, they say uh, life doesn't mean anything. We're just here and we die one day and there's no purpose in all of this. A lot of people say that, but when Mastodon is very spiritual, when I'm reading this, I, I know it's very spiritual because it is not true, man. Your life is not meaningless. It will remain. I will remain. As the end of the song says, whatever you do in your life, uh, you have your importance. And when you die, man, you might live beauty, as they say, living beauty now. But you will remain, man. You will remain. I can talk about this a lot. I love this kind of uh, spiritual discussions. But I, I understand what they, they say here, you know? I understand what they say. All right, the next one is clandest clandestiny. All right, I don't know. Uh, is a mix of, of clan and destiny. Clandestiny? Well, we'll see. Here we go. That was that of Super Heavy with this album, man.
As I said, you know, this song wasn't my fairy compared to, to, to the other ones, man. But, but as I said, they have these little moments of, of genius. And again, like the chorus, I want to read the lyrics. I'm going to read the lyrics. Man, but what I love about the lyrics from Mastodon as well is super relatable. They talk about it's not like some complex and uh, metaphysical things. You know, they talk about everyday life, like the, the beginning, silent all your life, running without vision. And it happened to all of us, uh, lost in your life, you don't know what to do, hollowed and out inside, wronging all that right. Yeah, being like bitter about life. There's no cost to be alive. Yeah. And no reason to escape from us. There's no wind outside, no pain, and I'll find any suffering. The road is dark and bare, no clarity, no light. The moment came and swallowed up, blinding all our sights. W wait a minute, I'm going to look at the meaning because... It's not super clear to me right now. Okay, what I'm reading here is uh, it's pretty much death talking to you, you know? It is death talking to the cancer patient in a way. Yeah, like give your life so I can breathe. Save your life, it's all we need. Yeah, like give your life so I can breathe. 
Well, guys, tell me in the comments down below what you think about these lyrics. Well, tell me, guys. Tell me, guys, in the comments below. I'm going to keep going in this album's journey. Next one is Andromeda. And here we go. That was start up super heavy, man. Woo. Oh. That's all my stuff, man. Creepy, as I said, good device. Right, this was Andromeda. But well, I don't know why a lot of people like say this album is bad. I, I kind of like it. <laughs> Not gonna be honest. But yeah, like as I said, a lot of, there's no one Master album which is bad. There's two song, two songs left: Scorpion Breath and Jaguar God. So yeah, I'll tell you at the end what I think of the whole thing. But right now, so far, man, no, I I like it. This yeah. Definitely not as good as a lot of other Mastodon albums, that's for sure, but still, it's not a bad album. Um, the album I'm most scared of is uh, <laughs> The Hunter. 
a lot of people, a lot of my friends said, man, this album is bad. So <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about that one, but this one, man, I'm liking it. I'm not gonna lie. There's a few songs like in every album, which I'm, I'm not gonna listen to again, like this one, Andromeda. But let's see about the rest, man. Scorpion Breath. All right, Scorpion Death. Uh, uh, Scorpion Breath, here we go. <laughs> Okay. You prepare me for something, Master Dan. Prepare me. Man, Ben, tell on this one. Not my favorite song from them, and I'm I'm gonna be pretty honest. It, nothing special as well about this one. Um, sorry for the people who love this song, but yeah, to me, like they're not not my favorite song from them. So let, let's go to the the last one, man. All right, the last one seems like an epic, like uh, Hearts Alive, Last Baron, etc. Seven minutes long. I think it's the longest song from this album. Yeah, it is. Uh, so yeah, pretty curious about this one. Let's see if Mastodon can close this the right way because the last song the in witcher house from once more around the sun i was it wasn't my favorite one maybe i have to listen to it again and again to get it because uh, one of you guys suggested to listen to a live concert from them in the cape pit something like that where I, I i just saw the songs they have and one of them is uh witch house i think it's witch house i don't know what's the exact name of that song but let's about this one jaguar god and uh from what i'm seeing it has 1.5 million views on youtube so it is one of the, the best songs from this album. So we'll see. Cheers to you, Mastodon. And here we go with Jared Gunn. Here we go. Okay. 
Feels like it's gonna be an epic. Feels like it. Okay. This is like the, the last song from uh, from the album Blood Mountain.
Oh, Kevin. Again, Ben Taylor, man. God damn it, man. Let's go. Ooh, okay, you're changing landscapes here. Oh, you go, friends. <laughs> 